Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. This past weekend, the Huntington Beach Police Department and Community Foundation organized a car meet to raise money for the police department's air support unit, which celebrates its 50th anniversary this year. The first tradition of cars and copters on the coast took place right next to the boardwalk paralleling Surf City USA's famous beaches, featuring four helicopters and countless cars on display. Money raised from donations and special show registration go towards safety and training programs within the HBPD. Since Huntington Beach is located just north of Newport Beach, one of Southern California's most affluent cities, the quality of cars that showed up was good enough to rival the hypercar displays at Pebble Beach. Here are some highlights from the meet. The cream of the crop at Cars and Copters was the group of cone eggs, eggs on display, and not just one or two them the unofficial tally at the meet was 12 of Sweden's finest hypercars, as well as a man behind them, Christian von Koenigsegg. The list of participants includes, a CCXR Trevita one owned by Floyd Mayweather, production car speed record holding Adra RS, Adra RS1, Adra RS Draken, Adra RS Phoenix, multiple CCXs, and the first cone exeg in the United States, the CCXRS. The car that attracted the most attention however was the Ridger Hybrid Hypercar, also the first of its kind in the US a profile for almost all of these cars can be found on Cone Exeg's blog. Paganis were the next most popular cars at the event, and not just because the Beverly Hills Pagani dealership brought out its Huara Roadsters. A few other Huaras and the hardcore Huara BC track variant made it out. But the pair of ultra-rare, brightly colored Zonda Sinks and the one of three Zonda Tricolor were the most photographed of the bunch. Compared to the previous cars on this list, the three Bugattis and two McLaren P1S that made an appearance seemed ho-hum, which is not how one would normally describe these hyper-exotics. Most people spent a minute or two eyeballing the Bugattis before noticing the brightly colored Itagli and hypercars a row of cars away but the P1S received little more than a snap from a few smartphone cameras. Continuing with the theme of neglected hypercars, a black and blue Lamborghini Centenario also sat between one of the helicopters and a taxi cab painted Dodge Demon, ignored by many despite its rarity. It wasn't the only hot Lambo at the event though as the new Urus SUV sat in the back corner of the show area next to a beautiful white Lambo 02, courtesy of Lamborghini Newport Beach. An assortment of other oddball cars and exotics were featured at the event, including an Aston Martin Lagunda, Ferrari Enzo, Kia Stinger GT with the tiny rear spoiler added as a gag, Hansi's new Ford GT, Callaway Corvette Aero Wagon which is even weirder in person, and a strange silver mid-engine car that I can only assume is a Porsche 914 or Ferrari body kit of some sort. The most abundant car at the show however was the McLaren 720S, which every vendor seemed to have on display. For instance, Thai and aftermarket parts supplier Versner unveiled its new Silverstone Edition Aero kit for the 720S at the show. If the Huntington Beach Police Department decides to host another meet next year, they're going to have a hard time topping their inaugural event. Below is a gallery of additional images of many of the great cars that showed up. Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.